Hi guys, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. I um, hope everyone had a fantastic day yesterday, a fantastic Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all. Um, yeah, it's a super busy day. Um, I was going to do a little bit of a get ready with me and show you a bit of the sort of the presents, the, the makeup kind of presents that I got yesterday. If you don't like kind of gift giving stuff or whatever on YouTube, what I'll do is, you know, maybe not watch this video. Um, this is just really to show you what I got makeup wise and, you know, just in case some of you are interested and, you, you know, you'd like to purchase um, something like this. So I'll tell you what I got. So first of all, I got this, the Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm by Sunday Riley. I like a good cleanser. I heard Sunday Riley's is great. This is this luscious, soft blue cleansing balm easily removes impurities in makeup, even stubborn eye makeup, using gentle sugar-based cleansers to leave skin thoroughly clean and comfortable, hydrated and glowing. It uh, has oils of blue tansy and German chamomile to calm the look of irritated, dry, flaky skin, while the tangine helps improve tone and clarity. A softening base of organic cocoa or moringa butters, so this looks really good. So I've always wanted to try um, Sunday Riley. I've heard good things about, about them. So this is really cute. Um, container as well. So I'm quite lo looking forward to trying that. So that's, that's what I got. I also got from my husband. I got quite a few um, of the Drunk Elephant stuff. I've been banging on about Drunk Elephant. Oh, I want to try Drunk Elephant. I really want to try Drunk Elephant. So my husband got me, and this was like the drunk drawer, it's called. Um, and this is one I sort of purchased for myself from my husband. Um, and you get little small samplers of the Protini peptide, polypeptide cream. That's supposed to be amazing. And then I got some the Slay Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. Now this is the one I'm really excited. The A Passione Retinol Cream. That's supposed to be really good. I think you use it a couple of times a week. But you have to build up to it maybe once a week to see how your skin reacts. That's almost like a sort of, not like chemical peel. But um, but it's supposed to be really um, good. Sorry, just dropped that. Um, And then I got the... Um, Be Hydra Intensive Serum, Hydration Serum, and a tiny little sampler of the Bamboo Booster Exfoliant. So I got that, and then I got the Physical Daily Defense with Umbra Tint. So it's like a daily defense moisturizer. It's like over the, your moisturizer, but it has a little bit of a tint, and it's got an SPF 30, which I get sometimes sun-activated cold sores, so that'll be great for me. And I got the jelly cleanser as well from Drunk Elephant. So that's uh, an innovative jelly cleanser that removes all trace of makeup, excess oil, pollution with any other grime from the day with a new blend of mild surfacents and makeup dissolving emollients. So that's really cool. So that's like a little Drunk Elephant set there. I'll pop this down here. And then I got the makeup wise. Also, I got this for my hair, which is the Olaplex Hair Perfector number three, which is supposed to be brilliant. Um, and I got, makeup wise, I got the Hourglass um, Ambient um, Lighting Edit, the Palinate Luminaire Edit, which is, it gives you a, like a little card to see where you can put the bits on. And so all my kids are getting, we're getting ready to go to my mother and father-in-law's today. So the kids are all kind of moaning about coming off the computer. And it gives you three finishing kind of powders two blush two blushers and one bronzer there it's supposed to be amazing i've heard so many youtubers talking about it as seeing it's like you know a standout standout product so i'm really excited about using that so that's the ambient hourglass set there i think it's called the, is it called something like the ghost light or something I, I can't remember if i've heard some people talk about it um and um, I got two eyeshadow palettes. I got the Tati Beauty one, which I've been wanting. I've been so excited to get this. Um, I got it uh, the first the first release of it. I didn't manage to get it, but the second release, I thought it just came just before Christmas. Um, so that's the Texture Neutrals palettes. Take the the glass. So that's really lovely. I'm really looking forward to using that. Um, I've seen so many people do reviews of it, and it just looks so gorgeous. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that and then I also got a palette that I really really wanted which was the Moon Spell by Lunar Beauty which is just so so gorgeous, looks like a book, I've been wanting this for ages and it's, the, the colours are stunning, so many options, so many options there and 
the other thing I got um, was some bling brushes and this is from a company in the, um, the US and um, I don't know if any of you have seen it, seen people reviewing it on on YouTube but this is a company called Blinged Brushes and they do brushes that are, you know, they have absolutely stunning handles so they are really gorgeous um, so I'm really excited about using these I'm almost like this is just an example of one of them. This is one of the eyeshadow brushes. Just look at that. That is so gorgeous. It's going to look lovely in my makeup stand. But I just think, I just look, look at that. It's so beautiful. And they are just gorgeous. So I got those. And the lip products I got. Let me put these down here, sorry. The lip products I got, I got from MAC. I got the Kiss of Stars lipstick. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Um, so that's really, that's lovely. And I got the Charlotte Tilbury. And this is the um, Pillow Talk, but it's the, the kind of Christmas edit one. Which has got a, bit of a, got a bit of a sparkle through it. Oh God, sorry. Which I'm looking forward to using. I think that'll, look, that'll suit me better than the actual normal Pillow Talk one. And the last thing I got was the NARS. I got NARS um, in Tlaid satin. So that's a kind of more of a kind of burgundy brown colour. Anyway, that's what I got. I hope you all got a lovely Christmas and you really enjoyed it. Um, so like I say, I'm going, we're going off to my mother-in-law's in a minute. I'm going to have to sort of get ready. Um... If any of you, you know, what have you been doing for Christmas? Hope everybody managed to to have some nice time with friends and family. And if you didn't, I hope you still had a good day. Um, yeah, we were hosting yesterday, so it was a pretty crazy full on um day. I'm trying to do this out my glasses, so it's going to be or contact, so it's going to be a bit crazy. Yeah, so we had a pretty crazy full on day yesterday. My little girl, she got from Santa, um some like an Elsa outfit because she's obsessed with Frozen and um, we were trying to cook the dinner because we had so many people coming over my my sisters their husbands my little baby nephew it's his first Christmas so it was super exciting um, and my mum and dad so it was a bit it was a bit mad but whilst we were trying to do that my little girl she had her little Elsa outfit on the little boots because that's a new Frozen 2 outfit and she was playing in the garden and it was just so busy and all I could hear was mummy mummy and she managed I don't know how she did this but she managed to climb onto her garage roof she she's a ninja my little girl she's you know the the best climber for her age I've ever seen really she's just um fearless which I suppose sometimes is a good thing sometimes is not such a good thing because she doesn't really sometimes know her own ability um yeah, but she just wants to be like her. It's having brothers, I think. I'm sure those of you that's probably, you know, who've got brothers um, have the same sort of view. This is me, him going on in the background. And everyone's trying to get ready. My little boy, I'm just going to put a bit of there. So I'm going to put the um, su Suva. This is the glow drops. So I'm going to go into pause and see if my husband needs any help. Sorry, it's one of those things trying to get ready and, you know, your kids are not getting ready. Your husband's like, oh, I can't get, you know, get ready, get ready. Um, Yeah, I just need to make sure they were, they were ready. Because they're playing their computer games they got for Christmas and they're like, we don't want to go to Granny's, but we're going to Granny's. <laughs> I suppose it, that's the thing, isn't it, for Christmas? It's not like a relaxing holiday. It's, um, you're, you're very, very busy. So that's my base. I'm going to put on a bit of... For a bit of Christmas sparkle, my Mac. Um, now this is the Star Quake. This is really nice. Um, so I've got my base done. I've done my primer. I've done my foundation and concealer. And now I'm going to put in a little bit of this blusher, which is Mac. Do you do which way do you do your makeup? Do you do your eyes first, or do you do your do you do your base base first? I mean, I've seen people do different ways, and I. I, I, I've I always, always, always done my base before I've done my eyes. But then the only problem with that is sometimes you do get a little bit of fallout with the eyeshadow and you're you're trying to sort of clean that up. So a bit, maybe a bit more. But then I just, I don't know, I just feel a bit more prepared when I've got the, the base done. Um, 
Okay, so that first, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter. And the highlighter I'm going to use is, I think I might, oh, I've got my eye primer to do as well. Let's have a look and see what eye primer I'm going to do. I think I've actually got it in here, which is the Charlotte Tilbury one here, which is the Beauty Light Wand. So I'm going to do it in here. You only need a very tiny bit, I thought felt with this one because it's so it's quite oh god, it's all my hair now, it's not good. It's very, very strong. And you can get like a pink one and a gold one of these, but I just don't think they would suit me, so I just tend to go with the the lighter one. Okay, my makeup drawer here. Um yeah, so that was yesterday, so we managed to get everything out. Everyone came round about two o'clock, which was fine. And yeah, it was a lovely day. I really enjoyed it. Um, oh, my drawer, makeup drawer is stuck now. I have too much stuff in this drawer. I need to do a little bit of a tidy, I think, of it. Um, so I hope everybody else had a good day. What did you do? What did you get up to? Did you have the whole family around? Were you at other people's houses? Base there. No, the kids were very good actually. They were very tired because you know what it's like with kids on at Christmas to get really overwrought. I did have um, I had such a so much food yesterday. I just felt like absolutely stuffed for most of the day. I was like, oh. I ended up with a bit of a sore, sore stomach last night as well because of eating too much. But I, I'm wondering what my mother in law is going to do today. I don't know if she's going to go for another sort of Christmas dinner or because we weren't with her yesterday. This was the first time actually that we've not spent Christmas dinner with my with my mother-in-law um and the um and the first Christmas ever that my husband's not, not spent it with his mum and dad so I think it was a little bit getting used to it from from his mum's point of view because we used to do we used to go through um his mum and dad's in the afternoon and my mum and dad's in the morning which is open presents here and then we used to do that but this this year we've you know we've uh done it a bit differently well this year and last year last year we had his pair my husband's parents but um around uh around here um we hosted for the first time and then this time we've had my side of the family so it's first time his mom's not had my husband for christmas so hope she's okay <laughs> but it has to come to everyone doesn't it so right this is my huda beauty i've been doing it all week using the same palette i'm going to put up a video at the end of this week showing my different looks i've been doing every day with the same palette i am going to go in with i'm going to go in with desert sand again it's a good it's a good base color um it's good for just establishing a base for the rest of the colors to sit on it's nice and light um nice and neutral yeah i've been finding this 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 actual palette has been very versatile i was doing a like i say i was doing a video on using the, it's not up yet it will be up on using the same palette every day because i find that you know when you're when you've got a lot of palettes you tend to dip in dip out try new things and i thought it'd be good to just use the same palette this is my only palette what what looks would i do so i am going to then do i think i might do a goldy brown look because of my my top so I've got that one and I am then going to go in with, should I go for Eden or should I go for Musk? I think I might go with, yeah, I might go in with a bit of Musk to start with. Yeah, so I've got quite a few things coming up over the next few days. I've got, we, I've got nothing on tomorrow, but then on Saturday we always do a annual games day. Um which is all of our friends and um, loads of our friends come around. We're kind of big geeky gamers. We like doing strategy board games. So every year my kids go to my mother-in-law's for a night and we have our friends over. It's a nice chance to have a takeaway, some drinks, you know, play the games, chill out. I'm going to finish my eye look and then I will get back to you. Okay, so that's the final eye look. Um, the liner is not great. Um, I... Basically, you do use the Rodel brown eyeliner, my NARS um, Climax mascara. I also did, basically, I deepened up the look with Oud and then I put some 
um, the Nefertiti gold over the top. So I basically did that one, that one, deepened it up with a bit of amber, used oud, and then Nefertiti, uh, and then my mascara and eyeliner. That's it done. So I'm just gonna probably use a bit, yeah, a bit of NARS, and then I'll be ready. Anyway, have a lovely day. Enjoy Boxing Day. Goodbye.